Nature is so amazing. If you wake up and you look at the universe, then you realize that if we live in congruence, we can be able to do so much to transition from the global noise, things happening around us, and find serenity. Ladies and gentlemen, your wellness is your wealth. Find it and go for it. That is the reason why we look at this video and talk about our lives. Welcome to the channel. Well, well, well. What a peaceful way to be able to approach this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Albert Nashon and uh, I'm here this morning to just talk about peace amidst the noise. And I started off this series because sometimes you sit back and you realize that, wow, the world is noisy. Everywhere there's a lot of noise. And by noise, you know what I mean. There's commotion in the family, there's commotion in the church, there's commotion in leadership, there is commotion in education, there is commotion in the environment, there is commotion even under sea, under the waters. And so the big question here is, how do you intentionally be able to get yourself off this commotion while still around it? Because like I said in my previous short clip, that if you're not part of the solution, then you're actually within the noise. But we can all make a deliberate effort to get our niche, find your peace and get out of that noise. So how then do you begin to do this? Because you're still part of the system. You're part of everything that happens around you. So you might ask, Albert, how do I? But that is exactly what I need to talk about because when you begin to identify what makes you healthy, because wellness and health is all that matters at this very point. For you to continue, to build your future into what it needs to be. You must not be part of everything, but you can be part of all that works to your advantage. And that is my point even as I talk about this. And so it is possible for you to make a deliberate decision and be very intentional about how you want your health to be five years, 10 years, 20, 30, 50 years from today, because it's all up to you. And so, as we talk about this, ask yourself, what is the state of your health? What is the state of your mind? Are you at peace with your own self? Are you at peace with those who are so dear to you? Are you at peace with your job? Are you at peace with your education? Are you at peace with your thinking process? Because all this matter in your life. And so, this is what I want to pursue. And you will walk with me even as we look at this, just to be able to figure out how do I find my peace amidst all the noise, the hustle and bustle, the hula baloo of everything that is around you, because this can bite a great chunk of your health. But my focus also will be very specific to how our kids are affected. I want to focus on the teens and be able to look at what discussions, what conversations can we have around with the young people who are exposed to so much, so much in the social media, in the academic institutions, out there in the social joints. Everything that they do is about the world at their fingertips. So what do they do with all this information that is around them? And what fundamentals do you as a parent, and a parent here could be a guardian, anybody within the society, who is able to take care of another young person. Because if we do not do this, then our time bomb is about to blow out. Our generations are losing it big time for lack of guidance. Sometimes they cannot blame. People are so busy trying to make life what it must be. And while in that hustle, we lose out on the very basics of the things that we've got to do. And that is a value of humanity. We must continue to remain sane and healthy even as we pursue our daily hustles. And ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome to this journey. I hope we are going to walk together. I'll be sharing more even about my own self and how I've been able to just work towards finding my own peace amidst all this. And this is what I want to be sharing. And I'll be talking to many of us. Please share your opinion, share your noise, share how you found your own peace and let us go into this journey together. For this is the March to Greatness Mountain Mentorship Series. And you'll know what that is all about even as we continue to move on. Because God, <laughs> trust me, there's a lot of peace up in the mountain. But what does it take to reach the summit? That is how you found your peace. Adios. Thank you. It's been a pleasure hosting you for these few minutes. Let's continue being in the journey together. Thank you.